We're leaving. We're leaving. So we gotta get this farm ready. Our flight leaves Asheville at nine o'clock. So nine oh three. So we're gonna leave here at seven thirty to get there at seven forty five. And Justin was making fun of me and saying that what? we were, were gonna have all this time in the airport. And we're only gonna have an hour and fifteen minutes. Not that much. I thought you were gonna have us two hours there before. What happened to your clothes? Which would be a lot in a small airport like Asheville. You need that raincoat, buddy? I just got this whole rain outfit on. Because it's raining. Good for the garden, bad for the chores. Okay. Mr. Brown's ready. When it rains, wear a swimsuit. <laughs> That's the attitude. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving, so we gotta get this farm ready. The first thing we're gonna do is check and make sure the fences are hot. So we'll just go around and uh, it's secured at the corner. Growth off of it to establish, get the mulch off of it. I think that's key when you're leaving your farm to a farm sitter or to your children. You gotta, you know, smoothify it for them. Get things like that out of the way. Like, you don't want them trying to get chickens back in because the chicken fence wasn't on. Or dealing with a predator getting your chickens because it wasn't hot. That waterer. Let's stock it up. Let's fill it up before we go. And then they don't have to. Hey, you got me some slack there? Bring it on up and hand it to me. Bring it on. Uh, you know, we can clean the waterers. So basically all they have to do is feed and feed, feed in this case, feed and put them up and let them out. All right, bring me the water hose. Uh-oh, it's kinked. Oh. What are you doing? Put that back, please. Thank you. You're a sweet boy. We get here under the umbrella while that fills up. You basically want to think, how can I make it Easy, as easy as possible for this person. All right, that waterer is about full. That will last a week, so that's good. We won't be gone a week, but now it's pouring the rain. So we sort of missed our window, I guess, of light rain. Let's tidy up a little bit, too. So everything's organized. If they need to know where something is, they can find it. If they have to use this hose, it'll be a pleasant experience, not a unwinding, kinked experience. Look, do we really want them to deal with that while we're gone? See this, Mr. Brown? Uh -huh. Let's fill this up with water okay. for the ices. And we'll leave it out there for Jonah. He won't have to carry the water out there. Normally we leave one spare bucket of water out at the ices out in the pasture. But let's leave two, and that way he won't have to carry water. Grab this, put it in our wheelbarrow. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna move the chickens from this area to a fresh pasture, a fresh pasture area. We'll start them at the top and then he'll move them every day and he'll move them downhill and there's enough for four days there. And if you didn't have somebody that was willing to move chickens, you could leave them in there. You know, we're cutting our feed cost 20% because they're on pasture, but just add that 20% back in with grain. It's not gonna kill you for four days. What is gonna kill you is you not getting away and taking a break every once in a while. I got the coop moved over and then I already opened up the fence, gotten it up, and I realized there was a chicken out. We didn't go very far, so I'm kind of hopeful that I can herd her back to the fence. So far, so good. She went right in. Thank you for making my job a little easier protecting you. Man, that rain is off and on. Rain stops, rains. So I'm gonna close that up. Feed and water them. Pick it up, we're good to go. There they go. I admit, that's definitely one of my favorite sites on the farm right now. There's beautiful Icelandic chickens, mixed colors. Waddle in there with them, fresh green, short grass. Oh, I love it. See, in a couple of days, they'll be from way up there. See them? To right here. That's where I've left our water refill. Hey, would you come get this? No, I'm going to take them with me. We're going we're gonna to make this cow fence hot for you. 
We're gonna start by getting this hot by disconnecting any unnecessary fences. Cows are not in here. Let's see what we're at when we turn this on. Barely into the green it looks like it's gonna be. All right, let's just go down this. You're getting that side. I'll get this side. That's awful close right there. Let's fix it. Probably hit metal somewhere else. Here it is. It was right up on the metal. Bear, I'm glad to see you in, buddy. Just trying to break this stuff off the wire. Lots of weeds on it here, guys. Can you break those off? And it's totally down right here. That'll do it. So that broke, so I'm just gonna wrap it around the pole. This will do it too. I'm connecting into a perimeter fence that is just gonna be buried. I don't need to do that. It's a wonder it was hitting as hard as it was. That was probably the chief problem right there. All right, I think we got it. Hey, nobody's gonna be breaking out while I'm gone, bear. That includes you too, buddy. Mom's gonna have to do the mineral shaw. Hopefully it'll break up the rain at some point. How's your fence hitting at the pigs and chickens? Not at all. They're okay. staying in now. Well, let's look at, let's look at it. I, I, I'm wheeling the bed, it's gonna go all the way up. You're a good hands while I'm gone, buddy. Ah, my beloved garden. We've looked up the weather. It looks like we're gonna be in the clear until we get back. So the pressure's off, getting this covered. Yes. You guys, you guys just soak up the rain out there, okay? You guys just boom. Be unrecognizable by the time I come back. I bet they will. I need to go around and get it in the clear. I'll, oh look, they've, sh they've shoved dirt all over the bottom of it. Yeah, it just needs some we just need some, we need to go around and get weeds and mud and everything off of it, okay? Got the mud off the bottoms, grass. Good morning to you too. Is it really? It's green and red. I think it needs a good sunshine. It'll get going again. Jonah, if something were to happen, listen. If that were to not get hot, you have two choices. One, you can hook this, the chickens up to this cow fence right here. Okay, with one of your little connector cables. It'd be that easy. Okay? I would cut it right here. I'd cut it right here so then the whole other system wasn't. Oh, That's okay. a good idea. That's a good idea. The other thing is you could get another solar energizer. You could hook it up. I might do just do this one. Okay, just do that then. But if you do that, you have to make sure our gate's shut so yes. the electricity gets to it, okay? Okay. We've got water sealed up. We've made sure the fences are hot. Oh, no, this afternoon, we'll, we'll do the minerals and we'll give the cows, we normally move them every day, it won't kill them to give them a four day paddock. And in that way, Jonah and Grandma won't have to move the cows every day. I wouldn't want to go longer than four days in one area because that's when the grass begins to grow back after it's been cut with, with them mowing. So. If you had to go away for more than four days, set up two four-day paddocks. Here's another word I'd like to say about this is, usually if you give up your house, people will be happy to stay in your house while they're there, they're house sitting, farm sitting. Be willing to pay them. Sometimes you can pay them in just eggs. Or if you've got a milk cow, milk cow. But you know, notice when we're going too. I wanna make a note to that is, we're going in a slow part of our season. We're not, the cow's not in milk, the lambs are not here. Everything is pretty easy right now. The, the weeds aren't obnoxious. You know, I'm not having to harvest any like major produce. This is a window. You think about when is the best time to go. So farmers tend to go on vacation in the fall, winter, slower months. Or you could go in the height of things, which we hope to do next year but we would more significantly invest and train someone and be prepared to make that part of our vacation budget is paying somebody because of the workload so much. But if it's just feed some chickens, make sure the waters are good, people are generally happy to do that for you for just eggs. How's it going in here? It's going good. How's your list going? It's going. You're laughing at me funny. I'm not. You've been on Facebook? I have not. <laughs> I'm not been on Facebook. Why are you laughing? Because it's just like I've been doing laundry and then like 
I got I got my my laundry basket which I just filled up but I brought it I found a laundry basket I brought it in here and then when the laundry was done when the ding went off my laundry basket was in here so yeah. I had to go find it and then it was in my bed under the covers which That's right, we all know I did not leave it there and then I Remember come out here playing forts? yeah and then look at this so then I come out and somebody has so kindly Hung hanger. Well, first of all, they put a cage there that doesn't belong. Well, no, it does belong there. Oh. But it goes inside like that. And then there's one over there, and I'm just like, I'm fighting it. I'm fighting everything. Hey, it's like brushing it's your like, teeth and eating Oreos at the same exactly. time. Exactly. That's exactly what it's like. So that's why I'm laughing because I'm like. So, Rebecca, what do you do to prep this house for the farm sitters? Do you do anything special on the inside? I'm just trying to clean it up because of my parents. That's always kind. They don't, they don't want to come in and see this. They don't want it. They don't <laughs> want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with the junk. We always clean at Grandma's house. It's not a fight at Grandma's house. Because Grandma's Grandma. house is immaculate. I know. Grandma doesn't have four kids. Mama, you want to know why? Yeah. Well, Grandma left the kids at the living room all messy until it's, ti until it's time to go to bed and then we clean it. Okay. Hey, you going to hold down the fort nice while I'm gone? Uh, you gonna help Jonah do the chores? Yeah. You gonna vlog? Maybe. How much money would I get if I vlogged and helped Jonah with the chores? I'll, I'll, I'll give you chores. some. So, videos on this channel are going up as usual. Tomorrow, Friday, we're releasing my newest documentary. It's called Mighty Man Camp, where me and the boys go in the woods, do some adventurous stuff, and learn what it means to be a good man. That's coming tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna put it up at about 5 p.m. Eastern. So, plan that night, pick an hour. And watch this as a family, as an individual. Just take some time, set some time, pop some popcorn, make a fun event out of it. You're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, you're gonna learn something. And so Monday's vlog will be what happened all weekend. Hopefully you guys are gonna vlog for me here. And then we'll film a bit at the great at the uh, Homesteaders work? Conference of America. How much money? Come on. <laughs> How much money? We'll see. We'll negotiate. They're $100. tough negotiators. Hundred dollars. They start high. They know this. They start real high. This would, like even put me into shock. And then twenty dollars doesn't sound as bad.